Damn, Daniel. Back at it again with a fresh podcast. You fuck with Breaking Bad at all? Woo! We just took this party to fucking next lover. That's Ray is sex too. What are you doing in the corner? Just smacking my ass together. It scares just me so bad. I got a boner. I am shocked by this air coming out of my ass. I puke my guts out. Is there a bomb dropping back to Run, guys! I'll live, old man. I'm public. I am your fucking savior. Savior. The Nerd Shed Podcast. Yo! What the fuck is up? What's going on, everybody? Nerd Shed Podcast. I am Matt. I am Justin. And this is the podcast where... Uh, Starting it early today. <laughs> where we talk about whatever we want to, really. We try to focus it around music, movies, and video games, but... Sometimes we get off track, you know, but that's just our adult ADD. Yeah, well, it's, it's actually quite... It's way more often than uh, it should be, but hey... Yeah, sometimes we tell uh, personal anecdotes from our past. <laughs> <laughs> we get some some deep cuts going on, personally and in songs. Yeah. I deep keep running tunes. over my headphone cord. Like, within, we've been recording for a minute now, and I've ran over my headphone cord about three times. Oh, I, <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Like I said, like I said before gonna, the show, I'm having one of those mornings. Like, fucking. No, I, I, what you said before was I'm having a morning. Oh yeah, <laughs> which was way better. I am having a morning. I'm having a morning. Oh, oh, fucking deep synth wave. <laughs> uh, <laughs> so I'm a horny bird that wants to look at the rest of mommy. <laughs> what? Little Nikki. I haven't seen that since it <laughs> fucking came out. Like, that's like a that's an Adam Sandler deep cut. That is an Adam Sandler. Oh, dude, like, so good. Like everybody talks about your Happy Gilmore and your Water Boy. Nobody talks about like Little Nicky or Spanglish. Oh well. <laughs> <laughs> I couldn't there say a, that with a straight face. Fuck. There was a little bit of time in between uh, Little Nicky and Spanglish. Something <laughs> happened. <laughs> To where, you know what, let's get some deep comedy slash drama going on here. Instead of shooting flames out of your mouth like the Satan sun. Because <laughs> that was way cooler. Can you guys hear me all right? Is that good? Yeah, I think they can hear us, okay? At least okay. I hope. If not, then... Uh, turn right. your uh, turn your headphones up, peeps. Yeah. You got so a volume can, knob over there. So you can hit these sick beats in the back. It's a jingle palette. <laughs> <laughs> it's like for makeups, but with sounds. Right. Just every color under the rainbow on there. Somewhere. <laughs> Over. Under. Somewhere under the rainbow. Yeah, under. The, the they never talk about what happens underneath the rainbow. Right. Like over, over top, like shits and glitters and stuff falling out of the sky, little gold pieces. Leprechauns just bouncing around. Underneath, though, fucking anarchy. No. They got your ass fucking rhinos. And then at the end of the rainbow, there's the pot of gold, right? But it's not a pot of gold. It's just pot. The, the spray painted gold? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this shiny nugget we found for yeah. you. So so that's what the uh, the Denver Nuggets are about. <laughs> Exactly. <laughs> this uh, United States of America was grown on the hemp of, hempifications. George Washington's teeth made out of hemp. <laughs> Compressed. This is the longest intro I've ever heard from us. Oh, it's a good beat, right? I love it. So hard. <laughs> <laughs> so hard. <laughs> um, so we didn't decide what we were going to get into first. We do have a, a little oh. bit of a variety. All kinds um, of variety. Hey, can you uh, smack that novels down a little bit? What, the beat? Yeah. My partially deaf ear. That's good. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it just sounds super loud because I hear it through one ear. Did you oh. get that? Have you gotten that looked at? I have a fake eyeball. Are you going to get an aid? <laughs> <laughs> you know Just what? Just one. <laughs> I'm going go to the, go there and I'm going to ask, can I have some aids? Please, the hearing kind. <laughs> I'm go, sure, and just take a needle full of blood and inject it in my ears. Oh, that's not good. That's the cause of death right there. Cause of death. <laughs> Puns. All right, anyways, what are we getting into today? Starting off with randomness. Mm. Let's do some video game stuff first because we didn't really talk about a whole lot of video game stuff last oh, week. Oh, I'm totally we? down for that. Oh, I'll kick it off really quick while oh. you uh, pull up your article. Oh, I got so, I got all kinds of stuff. Resident Evil 2, the remake, comes out on January 25th. Oh, didn't they do that for Resident Evil 1 also? 
Yeah. Did they remake that one? Yeah, they Are they did. just going to go back through and remake all these games They now? did. For the PS4, they did Resident Evil 1 and 0 is the Origins collection, they called it. So that... Um, Origins? 0 is the prequel to 1, they came, but it came out like a little bit after. Okay. Like, I think it originally came out on GameCube. Oh, really? Yeah. Nice. Yeah, so they remade... GameCube, throwing it back with the yeah. tiny discs. Yeah. <laughs> dude, yeah, I miss that, dude. The Those GameCube were dangerous, was such a, too. Such a good console. I I loved it so much. First off, you have a full-blown cube. Right. With a, mine had a handle on it. Yeah, yeah, mine had a little handle on yeah, the back. Yeah, I think I had, like, the Pokemon XD edition or some shit, whatever came out a long time ago. Mine was... Had Lugia in it. Mine was silver, I think. Mine was I like, had a silver one. I can't remember the color of mine, but I had one, so that's close enough. <laughs> Yeah, and then they, Anywho. I think they redid Resident Evil 4. Oh, so they've done, for, like, a different ones throughout the years yeah. anyway, so. Yeah, like, I think those ones, like, I know, like, the original Resident Evil and Resident Evil 4 are, like, the, like, two most highly regarded ones, I think. Like, yeah. they, like the Resident Evil gamer people love those ones. How would you rank the Resident Evil? Because I know you played almost all of them, if not every one. Oh man, that's a good question. Um, we're we're getting into well, the serious questions this, there's, today. <laughs> there's so many of them, and there's like ones that I've played recently. How about one through five? Rank one through five. Okay, so just the originals. Yeah, and, like not all the spinoffs. And yeah, shit, like, like like the had, main storyline. Continue yeah, with that. One. They had um. I actually still have it on my PS3. They had Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City, mm. where it was almost like a fucking like Call of Duty game, but in the Resident Evil world, and you played as the Umbrella people, and like you go through the city and you just have See, your I never fucking played it. machine gun and you're just gunning <laughs> down zombies. That sounds awesome. Yeah, yeah it's pretty fucking. <laughs> just going sweet. through like running them over with a tank and just like <laughs> throwing spetzels out the window at people. Spetzels? Fucking spetzels, little tiny. Boom. <laughs> um, oh, spetzel cannon. So anyway, so <laughs> Resident Evil. I'd say, fuck. I don't know. It's almost like they're in order backwards. Like five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> yeah, but there's a lot of people that like two better than one. But this I, is your personal preference. I haven't played two since like the original PlayStation. Like it's been years since. So I like two. when the new ones came out, you just kind of stopped playing the old ones, anyways. So yeah, unless it was like solid. I would definitely. <laughs> I didn't mean to get your brain going this hard. My bad. <laughs> I really like, like, I don't think I can, like, or put them in order, but I really like, obviously, one. <laughs> watch, your, watch your noggin there, dude. <laughs> noggin, remember that? <laughs> <laughs> Fucking Drake. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, so, I really like one, obviously. Like, one is, like, one of the greatest video games of all time. And Uno, obviously. Good game. Seven. I know you said one through five, <laughs> but you can't leave out seven. Seven was fucking ridiculous because that like brought I remember it back. Playing Resident Evil Six with you, maybe yeah. no. Resident Evil Five and Six kind of got away from the horror elements, and they were just more like action games. Yeah, to where, to where you had in like, Africa. Yeah, yeah, five <laughs> was in Africa, but yeah, those ones. Africa. You had like you had your like M sixteen with like infinite ammo, so you could just mow down zombies no problem. To where like. The original games, and then 7 took it back to where, like... Was it Burst or Rapid Fire? Pretty sure it was Rapid Fire. Nice. Um, <laughs> <laughs> Balls deep in a hog with like, your M16. The first, the first three games, and then 7, like, took it back to where, like, okay, I have a handgun, and I'll find 10 bullets maybe every half hour or so, so I need to <laughs> make them last. Let me see your handgun! No. So, yeah, one... Seven. I don't know. I really like those ones. And I'm probably two and three. Okay, and so then, this is gonna then, be in the line. And then for four, five, and six games yeah. that you want to play. Yeah, fair enough. I uh, see. I, I haven't had too much time like putting it into Resident Evil because I'm a very single game person for like years at a time. Yeah, <laughs> I don't branch off too much. No, I'm the same way. Like I played. I just go back through. I think like Fallout Three was the only game I played for like three years. <laughs> That's just because it's golden <laughs> right. and <a> half. <laughs> Um, um, should I talk so, about this? I, we didn't even get to what I, <laughs> why I brought up Resident Evil. Okay. Um, Way so off topic. Resident Evil 2, the remake is coming out on the 25th. They released a demo, I think. It was either yesterday or two days ago. Yeah, I saw that. I think it was yesterday. Maybe. Um, Whoa. The, the way that they're doing it Time is difference. it's a 30-minute demo. You got 30 minutes to do whatever you can, and then after that, can't play it anymore. 
Beat the game in 12. Yeah, it's like (laughs) something really different. But I saw a headline. I didn't click on Larko, but someone's already hacked it to where you just can have unlimited money. (laughs) But but I don't think the demo is a full game. Like, I don't think, obviously, like... Yeah, uh, they're they're not going to put everything into it. So I think it's just, like, a little, like, snippet. And I think that snippet you can complete in, like, 15 or 20 minutes. That's not bad. But they give you 30 minutes to, you know, just kind of explore. You got 10 minutes of wander time? Yeah. Like, oh, hey, go pick up some ammo before the zombie comes And then after you beat it, you get, like, some type of, like... Spe- special new trailer for the game. Hi. So, so yeah, that's I, I downloaded it yesterday, so I think I'm gonna play that today. Check Are you? Out. Yeah. You gonna dabble in it? Yeah. I'm gonna I'm gonna dip a toe. Yeah, but never do, <laughs> you know. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus. Uh, Flintstones. Or Jesus of Nazareth. <laughs> Went down to Nazareth. <laughs> um, can uh, I speak about this chair that I've seen? guess a podcast too i guess you can talk oh um, whatever okay uh not gonna take long okay but acer has come out with the uh predator thronos gaming chair which has like three screens that encove you which is super weird then it has like a little i don't know shelf that zooms in and out so you can get in and out of the chair comes with like a laptop not nah, yeah it comes with a laptop or at least you know what are we talking are we talking uh alienware laptop oh yeah full full blown uh, well, I think uh, they teamed up with like uh, we talking quad core xenon. Well, processors? it's from Acer, so you know like how they do uh, what quad core <laughs> i eight, bro. Quad core xenon. We processors. got internal fucking, cores. Fucking thirty two gigs of RAM. Just oh, a beast of a machine. Actually, you can upgrade this one to sixty four gigs of RAM. Dude, I need that. <laughs> that is I, ridiculous. <laughs> I need all of the RAM. But this thing is ten thousand dollars. Yeah, that's too much. You can get a vehicle, an actual vehicle, for that. But I mean, at the same time, no. if you have the the means to buy it, if you have ten thousand dollars, you know what you need to do. Oh, uh, give it to the nerd shed. So, <laughs> you guys want to sponsor the nerd shed? Please do. Um, if you have ten thousand uh, dollars, uh, uh, this is what you need to do. Oh, uh, you need to buy a 1996 Toyota Camry <laughs> for like four grand, and then just take the other six grand. And put like Coke a, and hookers. A gaming station. <laughs> <laughs> put a gaming station in the trunk, like pimp my ride, like you open the trunk. And I'm pretty sure. P- fucking LCDs come up. Put that chair in the truck. It's a truck now. <laughs> it's a Toyota Camry. Like, to like the Chevy El Camino. Camp. Like it's a car and a truck at the same time. <laughs> you want to go to that Mexican place? El Camino's. <laughs> <laughs> we should make that. And then every every booth is just a chair, like the in the shape of a car. Don't, the table are, was the bed of the El Camino. Isn't there a like restaurant that has like special tables that like they have like an old like sixties Corvette, but then like you sit inside and you eat your food? Oh yeah, I think so. I don't remember what it is right it, now. It's set up like downtown New York. Like they just have like a bunch of streets and like corners and stuff, and they're like, oh, let me take you to your table. And it's like taxi four. <laughs> you just go inside a bit and be like, oh, this is nice. Sit down, you can't stand up. You go stretch. into the restaurant and then the hostess walks you back out to the street well, and whistles well, for a taxi. <laughs> hey, taxi! They come pick you up and they just stop right there. The tables move. They're on hoverboards. <laughs> Somebody's standing in the back of the trunk just <laughs> leaning forward. Oh, crap. <laughs> oh, I forgot the stretch before I podcast. My bad. Pop. <laughs> You want some corn pops? Do your calisthenics fucking jumping jacks before the show? Always. Every time. I did uh, four front flips on the way here. You In the fr- car. Front flips? In the car, yeah. Nice. Yeah, just tuck and roll. <laughs> tuck and roll. Just like when you get caught on fire. Find a hill. Tuck and roll. Just I thought you had to stop. Drop. Worst case scenario, if you don't get put out on fire, people are going to be afraid of you because you're like barreling towards them and they're <laughs> spinning ball of lambs. Just, <laughs> oh, that'd be so good. <laughs> and really bad at the same time. Uh, we can also talk about uh, Verizon trying to get into the gaming scene. Yeah, tell me about that. Okay. Tell me more. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well, apparently Amazon's announced that, you know, by 2020 at the latest... They're going to try to get, like, some kind of gaming platform or service that they can use. Well, Verizon's apparently like, oh, hey, we're going to hop in on this, too. Um, it's going to be uh, running on, like, a... It's going to be the same thing that's on the NVIDIA Shield, which is... I've never played it, but I hear all right things. Well, NVIDIA is already, like, read graphics for it anyways, but they're going to make it to where you can play your games on your phone. Like, 
I don't know what phones can support this, but you can play like Far Cry 5, Battlefield 5. I think there's a couple other games. But uh, they're in like the testing stages of it right now. Hmm. I think it's like alpha or something. And then every single person that participates, which I want to sign up for this because free stuff. You get like a $150 Amazon gift card, a free NVIDIA. What was it? One of the... You get the console, like teleportation console. You can take it with you, hmm. but it also takes you places. <laughs> <laughs> so trading this, places so this is a streaming service correct yeah it, yeah it so. has like the games like kind of like how they wanted to do for what was the other thing that i'm pretty sure xbox tried to like do oh yeah yeah xbox we talked Play about or that. some yeah. shit yeah so so game you don't pass actually, yeah so you don't have to have the game on your phone no no it's like i was gonna say because like if yeah, you wanted yeah. to jam out on some red dead 2 you would need like you 100 swap. gigabyte free i'm pretty phone. sure it's just all stored <laughs> on cloud storage anyways which when you know if you want to get a bunch of different games too, that's gonna suck because you're gonna have to fucking have a lot of storage, right? Um, like for in the cloud. And then, <laughs> and then is it gonna be like up there somewhere? Is it gonna be like some of these cell phone games to where like the like D pad and your buttons See, are on the screen? Well, all I know is they actually have like phone holders that look like Xbox controllers. Is it? Oh yeah, controller? I've seen you can that. Set okay. your phone inside of it. So, I mean, you can use like a full blown analog sticks and. Yeah. I don't. I still don't know if I'd like playing a game I on don't, my phone. I don't either. Mostly I like the big TV. I know? do too. I mean, if I want to play something tiny, I'll go to like a Game Boy or something that was specifically designed for that. Yeah. I mean, I know we have all these capabilities, but yeah. Or I like. I that's like something some I want to have my, my my battery all day needs to last. I can't drain it out in five minutes. I like some of the phone games. You know, like the ones like where like you're like in a car and you use the yeah. shifter thing to or like, like go the paper and... toss game where you're throwing a little crumpled little piece of paper Dude. and like. Paper toss was Got the down. shit back then. And then the, like the little okay. fan just fucking whoa, or do you shoots remember, it uh, feet that way. Doodle jump? Were you? Yeah. I remember you you <laughs> downloaded that. You paid for doodle jump. I did because I didn't want ads, man. <laughs> <laughs> I, I I would play it too. I would use your phone and play it. So Dude. that game. Gonna was have sick. a good time. <laughs> okay. We got any other video game stuff? Oh, uh, I mean Kingdom Hearts oh. three, but. I Speaking, you brought up Amazon a little bit ago. That's amazing. Did, did you hear about the? I don't know what. I don't know if he's the founder of Amazon. Jeff Bezos, yeah. Yeah, Jeff Bezos. Yeah, he's the owner. He he created he's, Amazon. Do you know that he's going to get a divorce? Uh huh. And he is not going to be the richest man in the world anymore. Dude. She's going to take so much money from him. He has what one hundred and seventy six billion dollars. Yeah. She's at least going to get half, if not more. <sighs> But that's the thing too is like that's his like net worth or whatever, so I doubt he has that yeah, in the he, bank. So I mean, he probably has at least like a couple hundred million dollars in the bank. Yeah, at least dude's making so much money. How can you spend all that unless you have like you know a billion dollar house, which is stupid. Yeah, but yeah, she'll oh, probably you get, like this like, country. I just bought it. <laughs> right, like he probably has a private island somewhere. Yeah, like Australia. Like, like Richard Branson has an island. Good old he, RB. Yeah, and he's. He's not, he's pretty rich, but he's not. He's a virgin, Bezos. mobile. <laughs> so, <laughs> so if he has a private island, I guarantee you Jeff Bezos has maybe two private islands. Yeah, he probably has some like weird fucking Thai boy sex slaves on his island or some shit. Oh, like probably. That. More than likely. Just like that one thing we talked about very early in the days. Oh yeah, Bohemian Grove? Yeah. Oh, you. he probably bought that in Bohemian his Bohemian bro. <laughs> <laughs> oh! There's a table there. I got the shakies. Watch your knees. Dirty D's, don't dirt cheap. <laughs> that dirty D's, dirty D's. You want to get into some uh, movie news? Yeah, some viewing, some pleasure. I don't, I don't know. I was gonna try and think of some creative <laughs> some way to say. It. Yeah, let's talk about some movies. <laughs> That's easier. Oh yeah. So first of all, the big news of the week: <sighs> Netflix. I think they're gonna be uh, cracking down on the whole sharing accounts with your friends and shit. I did not hear about yeah. this. So there's some software that's being developed that Netflix is interested in that basically if you're sharing an account with someone letting you go to log in, it's not going to let you log in anymore. It's going to make you like sign up for the subscription. Really? Yeah. Wow. Right. So they're like, oh, hey, uh, I know you're using this, but you should probably do this now. Yeah. It's only like 12 bucks. You got this. I don't get that, though, because like they let you have like what, like four or... No, I think three people can be watching at the same I think, time. Yeah, depending. Well, depending on what your plan is, I know you could probably 
get more yeah. if you want to pay like 30 bucks a month for Netflix, which is too much. Right. <laughs> Give me some more quality movies, goddammit. Dude, that's the thing. Yeah, it's like... Goldmember is on Netflix now. Really? Yeah, we watched nice. it last night. <laughs> I love gold. I love gold. <laughs> I love to um, feel my skin. Yeah, so there's not a whole lot of news on that. Like, that just broke yesterday, I think. Yeah. Well, so. now they're, I mean, they're doing that, and they're also getting sued by uh, Create Your Own Adventure or Choose Your Own Adventure. Oh, yeah. For the Bandersnatch. <laughs> yeah, because they're like, oh, hey, which is confusing, because why didn't they do that for Minecraft? Minecraft did the exact same thing, I thought. Because... I don't, Minecraft is probably cash grab, but I feel like a Netflix thing might be like a little bit more. Yeah. More well, uh, like yeah. Minecraft, I feel is like just this little Minecraft community over here to where like Netflix is like everybody knows about it. So. Well, well, they have the Minecraft story mode on Netflix. Oh, that you it's like choose your own thing. I saw Jacob playing it and he, you'd like press A to go this way or something like that. Hmm. Unless it's like set up differently than how Bandersnatch was because be personally honest, I've, I've not watched Bandersnatch. No. Benedict Bandersnatch. Like Bandersnatch. Like that one guy, that actor. <laughs> Bandersnatch, like you're watching it. And Sandra then, Batch. And then like the scene will be going and then at a certain part in the scene, um, like the dialogue will stop and like they'll just be like it doesn't freeze like it's still like in real time. Yeah. But the thing will just pop up on the bottom and you basically choose like this giving or you this. like a time to just. Yeah. No. Unsexy Baywatch. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the bounce. <laughs> bounce with me, bounce with me. Okay. El Camino. Coming to America is uh, getting Giggity. a sequel 30 years later. <laughs> right? <laughs> when did that come out? Like 88, 90? Yeah, 88. Holy shit. That's yeah. like... Well, I mean... I think they're going for like the cult. It wasn't a cult classic. It was just a really good comedy when it came yeah. out. So everybody's and they're running out of ideas, and that's why you're getting sequels and remakes. Of everything. Yeah. Like, oh hey, you want to see the Little Mermaid for the fourth time? Right. You want it, live action Lion King, which it, I'm kind of partially excited for. Dude, that looks so good. I'm it so does. Excited. <laughs> I mean, you got little baby Simba just oh yeah. I'm gonna cry so much. <laughs> Did you score? <laughs> What about this Aladdin movie with Will oh, Smith? Fucking... Like, it looks bad, doesn't it? Will Smith is a genie. Like, it just looks bad. I have not even seen the trailer for it. I just saw the cover. No, that's the... that's all I've seen. I saw that picture and I was like, I pass. <laughs> <laughs> Hard no. <laughs> Sorry about that. Like, unless you want to pay us to watch it, Disney. Yeah, we'll give you a good review. Yeah, on my way. <laughs> Oh, tummy grumbles. Somebody needs some snackies. Yeah, I'm hungry. Um, <laughs> Fungry. Oh, we're going to cut this one 23 minutes short today. Sorry, guys. <laughs> Sorry, guys. We got, we <laughs> Snack got, uh, time. We got to get some food. Um, I love snacks. Just kidding, what you? <laughs> just nothing with you. <laughs> um, what's up, what's yeah. up? Oh, we have never gone to that story. The what's up, what's up story. Oh, dude. That's so, <laughs> I forgot about that. That was such a good time. Oh. Should we dabble in it real fast? Um, <laughs> you, you, yeah. you know better because my memory is shit now. So <laughs> yeah, we'll just a uh, little sidebar here. And yeah, then we'll, we'll keep, brief story time. We'll keep talking about the coming to story America time and the glass review that we're came to America. Um, so we were playing <laughs> basketball because back in high school, um, I had a friend who his dad was a pastor at a church. So on the weekends we could go in to the church gym and you know just just sink threes do some layups i can try, I, try I had to no dunk. business being there <laughs> <laughs> anyway so we were doing a little two on two or no was it three on three i think it was three on three because didn't my dad come one time yeah your dad that was the, yeah this was the time that okay because your dad has never not forgot about this forever <laughs> <laughs> yeah we were doing three on three that's right and uh I don't remember exactly what happened, but I think someone went to shoot the ball, and you just stuffed him, right? Like, you were just <laughs> I like, don't know what Boom! happened. It, something came out of me, and I just like... <laughs> you were just playing some hard D. Like, it's giggity. Like, <laughs> <laughs> but I was coming in hot. <laughs> yeah, he, he was about to go into the paint, and you shut him down. You're like, no, you're not getting past me. And he goes to shoot. 
he, he goes to like pop a jumper or something, and he just boom. What's up? What's up? <laughs> I don't know what overcame me because I was super shy for everything that I always did. I, I was like, oh my God, I'm like fucking King Kong right now. Like fucking Yao Ming. Rip my shirt open. <laughs> 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 this is how yeah. I do. Yeah. No, that was awesome. Because on like from that day on, just like anytime anything happened, what's up, what's up? <laughs> Burn. <laughs> oh, but yeah, oh, sidebar over. <laughs> yeah, good yeah. times, good times. Uh, but anyway, um, from that day for, forward, never play basketball again. <laughs> <laughs> uh, coming to America too. Eddie Murphy is going to come back, and I think Arsenio come, come Hall. Back. Arsenio Hall is coming back, too. Is he? Yeah. I didn't know he was so. still alive. Jesus. Yeah. I don't hear much. People go off the radar, and you just don't know. If, <laughs> right. Like, just like Alan Cox says, like, I, they could either be alive or dead. One of the two. Yeah, I, don't I don't know. know. It's I a 50-50 chance. Yeah, I, I have a hard enough time keeping up with my life, let alone everybody else's huh? life. Like, They're probably doing okay. They're probably not even alive anymore. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I don't think that started filming it or anything. I think they're still like in production. Pre yeah, pre-production or whatever. Yeah, well, babies. But I'll definitely see that when it comes out. Oh yeah, I'll have to watch the first one again just because it's been a long time since I've seen it. I have it on DVD. I'll let you borrow it. Since like '99, you know. <laughs> you know, <laughs> watching it when I was eight years old or seven because math. I don't we were think... really good at math. I don't think you were watching that when you were seven or eight, really. That's kind of a dirty movie. No, I was not watching it when I was seven or eight. <laughs> I did not know what a lot of things were growing up. Yeah, that movie's pretty raunchy. Like, he steps out in the street in front of the cab, and the cab driver just gets out. You dumb fuck! <laughs> <laughs> and, then, and then they get into the cab, and he's like, what does dumb fuck mean? <laughs> uh, I do need to watch that again here soon. Talking about possessions. Hey, hey, hey! Are you a soul sister? Oh, <laughs> Mr. Mister, <laughs> sisters so before misters. No. <laughs> <laughs> I love this cushy wall. It's so good. Um, but anyways, so glass. You know, so M Night Shyamalan. We talked about it last week. Yeah. Of, glass just <laughs> <laughs> shanks. Um, yeah. So there was. Unbreakable is what it was called, right? Bruce Willis. Just and, like the bottle. And uh, Sam Samuel Jackson. <laughs> Good old Sam I.L. Yeah, so there was Unbreakable, which I never saw. That was kind of before my time. Yeah, I think it came out, what, early 90s? I think, like, I don't know, 97. M. Night Shyamalan Ding Dong. I think, like, 97. Oh, 2000. It says right here in this article. Oh, really? Yeah, 2000. I don't, I don't know why I never saw it. I don't get out much. <laughs> I didn't but see then, a poster for it. So. But then, so like, what? Sixteen years later, he makes a sequel, <laughs> like we were just talking about. Yeah, well, yeah. So, so with, he makes uh, a sequel, Split. Speed lit. With uh, what's his name? James McAvoy. Yep. Which Dude, was he's a fucking great actor. He like is. That. He's so good. Like in anything, he even in Wanted, which was like Wanted the first like is, bigger movie that he did. <laughs> I know we talk about Josh all the time, but she needs to come in on the podcast. Yeah. But him and I, we watched Wanted like once a week while we were in college together. <laughs> we I want to swim the bullets too. No, <laughs> and then him and I would go around campus. And, I don't know if you remember, but uh, when he comes, when James McAvoy's character comes back and is like hellbent. Hello, fucking ding dong. Your Outlook oh. account settings are out of date. I don't use Outlook. Thank so you I've never for flushing up. your poop. Uh, anyway, when he's like hell bent on revenge and he's going to kill all the people or whatever, and like he wants to kill Morgan Freeman's character, his name is Sloan. Sloan! Yeah, he walks yeah. in yeah. and he's when just like, he Sloan! <laughs> we would walk around just screaming that. <laughs> Sloan. <laughs> but then when you can make, you know, a full, you have a, like a circumference of like roughly 180 feet and you just make a bullet go all the way around making turns. Yeah. You got to love physics. Physics. Anyway, physics. But yeah. yeah split. I, I liked it. Um, it was really good. Autumn, she's, we watched it together. She said she thought it was stupid. <gasps> yeah. She was like, it was just dumb. Like, oh no, it was so good. Yeah. I appreciated it. it was yeah, a good movie. It take like um, I think we talked about this before, but I, I'm pretty sure we've actually like full blown talked about Glass before. <laughs> I don't think so. Are you sure? 
Well, we have at least 21 episodes we can reference back to. Yeah, we'll go back and listen to them all. Oh, do you want to do a best of for 25? Yeah, we can do that. That seems like a nice wholesome number, and then we can do 50 yeah. afterwards. But, I mean, we're getting we, to a we did best of the first 10, so then that would be so much fif- content. 15 episodes, so it'd probably just be like quick like five minute things. Mostly probably just like your random outbursts from every episode. <laughs> Which there is all kinds <laughs> yeah. of those. It happens quite often. <laughs> I don't know what happens. Anyway, Glass is going to be the, the Glassy. third of... Quick stairs. <laughs> ...of those movies. So there's going to be Unbreakable Split and then Glass. That's but glass. So far, the, like this review right here... The mashup uh, of all the Like the people heroes. that get to do the, the pre-screenings or whatever. You. Yeah. This person says... M. Night Shyamalan's superhero sequel is anything but super. Oh, well, that's... And, and I saw a couple sad. other, like, headlines that say, like, it's not that good. See, I, can't, but, I don't know if I can trust movie reviews anymore. Yeah. After I, the whole Venom debacle, it's yeah. just kind of... It hurt me. <laughs> Those are some really rotten tomatoes. Yeah, I'm not going to read all this. This person wrote a fucking novel about it. <laughs> I've actually uh, created the whole entire book, again, but in my words, from his perspective... Yeah, I feel like that's a thing, though, with reviews is just to shit on something. People are just getting way too fucking... They don't take movies as what they should be anymore. They're just... This I feel like escape. it's with everything, though. It's like... <laughs> They're analyzing the way the fuck into everything. <laughs> no, no, like, video games, movies, music, Facebook comments, like, it's just... Anything negative you can say about it is what you write. Like, nobody says yeah. anything good anymore. Because negative always gets a spark out of people. Right, yeah, yeah. They're like, You're oh, hey, reactions. I want to start shit today. Let's just yeah. go write something shitty about things. Yeah, like, Assholes. if you were to say, like, Fuck hey, this me, this me. song is really good. No one's going to pay attention to you. But then if you say, like, wow, this person sucks at singing. Everybody's going to, like. I can do better while I'm taking a yeah. shit. Let's, let's hear you sing then, big boy. <laughs> My farts sound better than your voice. <laughs> And I Nice. We'll always hate you. Do we have any other movie stuff or was that a Um I think I might have Oh yeah, uh the Final Destination reboot <laughs> oh, <yeah. laughs> is in development with the Saw franchise writers. <laughs> so Yeah. Probably not gonna go see that one. Gonna take a quick path on that already, and it's not even made yet. Like like I've said before, like like Final Destination, the original one, was good because it was something fresh. What was the one was it Final Destination three that had the kid at the very end getting exploded by a propane tank when he was cooking on the grill? The roller coaster one? Yeah, that was three. That was the last one I saw. That's the same one where the... That grill thing fucked me up. I was afraid to cook for like four years. <laughs> <laughs> that Three's the one where the fucking pane of glass comes down and just crushes that dude, right? Yeah, I think so. Uh, a good possibility. There's a log incident, which also fucked me up. I can't drive oh, yeah. behind yeah, any I can't, semi. I can't drive. Behind it. Yep. Like, oh, it's just going to shoot off behind me because gravity doesn't make it drop. It comes out and then just whoosh, straight through me. And it has sharp points on every single end. <laughs> We're actually making a wooden wall. <laughs> Just like the Asians. Concrete. Jungle. Mm, fungal. I'm a fun guy. <laughs> <laughs> uh, okay. So, so the crickets go on for a long ass time. Unless you stop it. <laughs> Stop it. Stop it. <laughs> Put it, guys. But yeah, we're definitely not going to check out Final Destination. Sorry about that. Uh, when D. Hill, you know? D. Hill Pickles. Oh, Iron Man writers are also... Oh, I thought uh, you are about to go into some Rugrats with <laughs> D. Hill Pickles. <laughs> no, so no, like, no. There's Rugrats news? Oh, shit. All grown up, bro. <laughs> All grown up with kids. <laughs> Adulting. They got many pickles now. <laughs> <laughs> and this is a tiny pickle. This is a bread and butter chip. <laughs> Dude, those are some great fucking pickles, though. Those are my favorite. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, the writers of Iron Man are uh, starting to uh, script He-Man and the Masters of the Universe, which could go... I'm thinking it's going to go pretty good because I enjoyed the uh, first like three Iron Men. <laughs> Man, 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 <laughs> man, man, man. <laughs> so, but yeah, who's gonna play Skeletor? 
Bruce Springsteen. <laughs> That's the first name you pick out. <laughs> Maybe it's good. What about Mick Jagger? He looks like a skeleton. <laughs> he doesn't even have to have a mask. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you guys ready to rock? Oh! He's got or, those moves, you know? <laughs> or uh, Christian Bale could go back to his, like, the machinist days and just get really, really skinny. <laughs> no, no, he has to go to Batman phase. Batman phase for this movie. Where is she? I keep on bumping this. And grinding. <laughs> <laughs> Ain't nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. Oh, our jelly. <laughs> <laughs> He's gotten himself in some deep waters. <laughs> I didn't, I honestly did not hear about, like, I've seen, like... Uh, he keeps popping back up in the... That was a fuck. I got some distance on that little pebble oh, that came out. So what happened with R. Kelly now? Um, I, I'm assuming it's from the pissing days, but oh, uh, like, yeah. like he's getting child pornography charges. Hashtag me too. Hashtag me too. Hashtag, <laughs> which oddly enough sounds like fapping. <laughs> too far. <laughs> too far. Don't bother me. <laughs> okay, let's do this. What were we talking about? I don't fucking remember now, dude. And I... I don't know. <laughs> Something about He-Man? Oh, She-Man. <laughs> They're going to have to change it it's up a ma'am. little. It's ma'am. He-Ma'am. <laughs> Mer-ma'am. No, we just need a uh, non-gender specific, just he. No, because then that's still <laughs> referring to a man. So it'd just be like... A uh, person. Yeah person in the <laughs> non-slave owners yeah. of the universe <laughs> yes missed x person <laughs> <laughs> we're part of x force <laughs> nice. x force yeah deadpool reference go see it if you have in deadpool one and or two did you see the deadpool christmas thing that, like last month oh i i haven't seen it but it was like they had it with fred savage and right he was like getting read the story time or whatever yeah. which i mean it was like almost the exact same movie but they Took out all the raunchy parts yeah. to make it PG-13? I want to see it. <laughs> I completely actually forgot about it until right now. Sucks to be you, nerd. <laughs> <laughs> Up the shed, actually. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's a really nice apple you have there. <laughs> you ever had an, like a really fucking crispy apple? Yeah. 7-Up apple? Sprite. I like the... Uh... A Sprapple. The uh, shit, what kind of apples are they? Gala apples? Those are pretty damn good. <laughs> I'm not trying to be funny. Those are my favorite apples because they're they're not too tart. They, they they have the perfect balance hey, of sweet and tart. What was Steve Jobs' favorite kind of apple? Macintosh. Fucking yeah, bub. Was that supposed to be like a dad joke? Because it was not funny at all. You know how they say an apple day keeps the doctor away. He died. A fap a day keeps the doctor away too. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, uh, you uh, you uh, broke your dick, so we're gonna have to uh, amputate it. They say that's true, not to get, like, weird, but they say that, you know, <laughs> if you if you fap on the reg, it prevents prostate cancer. Like, you, that's fact. I'm doing this for my health. Yeah. <laughs> Hashtag me toot myself. <laughs> I didn't want to. He made me. I'd like to report a crime. Someone touched my penis. Who? It was me. me. <laughs> 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 Oh, that was good. <laughs> Did I almost paralyze you with that one? I'm not paralyzed, but I have been it struck you by me. <laughs> I like the way you groove, you know? <laughs> Way to reverence a fucking really old song that no one listens to anymore. What happened to Finger Eleven? Oh, they probably got me too. Okay, first off, <laughs> how do they get their name? <laughs> Everybody getting hashtagged no. out here. I was gonna say they probably no. lost one of their fingers and they only have ten now, which is like normal. So they're I was like, gonna oh, take we're... it to a really dark place. I probably should. How dark are we talking? Cause like Dark uh, Knight, Eleven from Stranger Things is. I'm not gonna. Finish. Oh, <laughs> snaps! That's wrong. That's inappropriate. <laughs> so is this whole conversation. A hundred percent true facts. I got back sweat going on from the giggles. Whew. Gotta flex it out. I feel so, moist. Maybe we'll finally get some emails. Guys, I listened for the music, <laughs> movie, and video game talk. I really don't like when you go into molestation. <laughs> <laughs> Please stay on track. KK, thanks. Oh, my God. Oh, I, I spilled it on the screen. I had to wipe that one off. It was on the blank box. We good. The some blank, bitch. The blank box. <laughs> blank box, guys. Oh, oh, oh yeah. yeah. 
<laughs> oh, ham! I always forget about the ham, bro. Dude, and you haven't used the excuse. <gasps> ham Night Shyamalan! <laughs> Fuck yeah! <laughs> What's your superhero name? I make scary movies. I'm Ham Night Shyamalan. <laughs> I like to make it really suspenseful. So, so you asked me for an explosion sound effect, and I haven't heard it yet. Come on. Boom! Blew my mind, motherfucker! It's attached to your rod, mother licker. Ooh, what are we gonna dabble into? Are we gonna do the, uh... Before we go... Oh <coughs> shit, we have just been uh, cruising now, haven't we? We, we have. Just... Uh, do you want to think of the most absurd song we can? And look up the dubstep version of it. We should save that for next week. Yeah. Yeah, we'll do that, that way we can time. get a, like a, a good uh, cause I have a couple Beethoven dub stepped out. Yeah, I've heard that for for the least. But yeah, anyways, did you see the AT and T ad that um, a tap for for Christmas where they had like the trap version of Carol of the Bells? I don't think so. Oh. I don't watch too much TV. Well, I saw it on Hulu because I have the Hulu with the ads because I'm not paying for commercial free. Right. So, so I sit through 120 seconds every 10 minutes. Yeah, it's really not that bad, to be honest. It's not. Like, that gives me time to go take a piss, which I never have to because I have the bladder of God. <laughs> and then, yeah. <laughs> Hands free! <laughs> you want to do our, uh, <laughs> our lyrics? Oh, yes. We have a treat this yes. week. By the way, if, you know, if anybody, like, actually enjoys us doing this, give us some feedback. Like, we always are down for doing stuff that people enjoy, but also for ourselves, yeah. so fuck you. <laughs> All right. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. Mm. Mm. Shake his. That's how we reel them in, just like, you know, the douchey guys, like, the no. womanizers, like... like Yo, yeah, womanize the baby! Back, <laughs> backhanded <laughs> compliments. It's how you get the women. But that's also how you get the podcast listeners. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, those. You guys feeling fucking saucy yeah. today? Those glasses make you look really cute. It totally takes away from your fucked up nose. <laughs> <laughs> it's a really good quality that I have. <laughs> I wasn't talking about you specifically. I'm I was just saying, like, like a man would say that to <gasps> a woman. I sound like too. I'm out of books. <laughs> Help me. Okay. Help me, I'm poor. <laughs> <laughs> Please, sir, may I have another? Oh, I'm just getting the random sweats today. Yeah, it is pretty warm in here, ain't it? So toasty. Yeah, but yeah, anyways. Lyrics? Lyric yeah. time? Yeah, I'm down with that thickness. <laughs> you, you gonna play the jingle? or? Just oh! My son, have you heard the word of God? No, nah, but the dudes on the Nerd Shed explain song lyrics to me every week. Mortal Kombat! Fight! <laughs> Furnish him! <laughs> nice. Fatality. Dude, those were some good ass games. Fucking gaggedy. Okay, but we're not gonna get off. Oh, uh, Mortal f Mortal Wombat. Ha! <laughs> <laughs> this fucking flies out, out of a tree. <laughs> Do wombats live in trees? I don't know. Maybe. I don't know. I've never seen a wombat before in the wild, like a Pokemon. But anyways, Give what are we doing one. this week? Hold on. <laughs> I wanna look if wombats are <laughs> I wanna, I wanna, can you show well, everybody well, what a wombat? This was a little, uh, nice anecdote. If ah, search... I'm stuck! <laughs> <laughs> okay. If you search wombat, the wombat. first thing that comes back, the first thing that comes up is wombat poop. <laughs> Why is that the first I, thing to show up? I don't up? know. I keep spittling. Oh. Oh, so they're marsupials. Oh, that's a marpupial. <laughs> that uh, are native to Australia. Oh, I down under, you know. <laughs> you gonna go cook some wombats on the Bobby? They're cute as shit. Are they? Let yeah. me see. I'm gonna take a gander at this mountain. <laughs> 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 it looks like he just like stole something and just shoved it up his butt and is it, trying to walk away nonchalant, you know? Yeah, it's, it's almost like an Australian raccoon. Oh, dude. Oh. You like my fart sounds? Do wombats live in trees? <laughs> oh, this is what we're Googling now? Yeah. <laughs> no, they uh, live in burrows with other wombats. They do not climb trees. Okay. So, go back. Instead of me saying they'll jump out of a tree at you, they'll just come out of a hole in the ground. They'll just pop up and be like, Wah! 
<laughs> Broman. Mortal Wombat! <laughs> Mortal Wombat! He just like has a little like night vision goggles on. Oh, dude, we, we got this whole entire TV show for ch the Children Network, whatever those are nowadays. Um. Okay, so this song time. <laughs> Did you stop the music? I might have. I don't know why. <laughs> oh, okay. Well, whatever. Uh, <laughs> well, fuck me, I guess. <laughs> oh, I almost ran I'll over just me. go fuck myself. Excuse me while I fuck myself. <laughs> Purple <Purpose>, hey. <laughs> okay, so this week for the lyric analysis, we need to come up with like a catchy ass like name for this segment. I don't. So I can throw it into the intro. We'll do it. We'll do it later. NSA, um, Nurses and Analysis. <laughs> NASA. <laughs> Saw, dude. <laughs> nice. Heck um, yeah. So we're going to do... Saw, dude. <laughs> Grenade by Bruno Mars. Yeah. Firepower. <laughs> Firepower. Oh, this is going to be so, so good. If you don't know... Grenade is the second single off of Bruno Mars' debut album, <laughs> Doo Wops and Hooligans. <laughs> Dooligans? Is that where you, like, run around instead of, like, you know, just, like, causing chaos? You just, like, duel with people, but... <laughs> Dooligans. Sorry. Oh, Red Dead 2 references. <sighs> so good. I can't stop playing it. So good. So oh, good! <laughs> <laughs> nice. Ha, ha, ha! Ow! Okay. Huh? So, diving into the lyrics of this gem of a song. <laughs> oh, I'm ready. I actually don't mind the song, which is... I hate the song. Anytime it comes on, like, you, you I are, get angry. It, 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 when I first heard it, it was they just played it so much on the radio that it's just, like, fucking overcumbered everybody. No, when I first heard the song, I legit said out loud, did this a five-year-old write these lyrics? Like, the lyrics were that bad. Oh, we're, we're going to analyze them. You're going to turn a song I might like into something I might hate. Let's so do this. He says, easy come, easy go. That's just how you live. Oh. So she just comes and goes as she pleases. That's that's a very straightforward lyric yeah. there. Easy come, easy go. Take, take, take it all, but you never give. Oh. Should have known you was trouble from the first kiss. She stole his money? Take, take, take it all. She took his uh, Rice Krispies that he's been saving for at least like two days. He loves the snack, crackle, and then the pop. And then he says, Crispy. Okay, well, I'm going to reread the line before that. So he said, should have known you was trouble from the first kiss. Had your eyes wide open. Why were they open? So she was... How can you see her if your eyes aren't open either, right, though? exactly. So you guys are both just... Yeah, just going, going in for the smooch with the... I see your soul. <laughs> <laughs> Shit got weird from the get-go. So then he says... I blame him, too. Gave you all I had, and you tossed it in the trash. You tossed it in the trash you did. <laughs> so she did not like the burrito that he picked up for her on the way home from work. I I'm said, assuming singing. I said I wanted the spicy burrito, and you just got me a Supreme. What the fuck is wrong with you? Yeah, I wanted the volcano sauce. Dude, volcano sauce was the shit. Super yeah. good, super spicy. I love putting it in the fridge. That way it can get, like, chunky. <laughs> Chunky Cheese. <gasps> this is for the fat kids that can't play at regular Chuck E. Cheese. We're going to make Chunky, chunky cheese. cheese. Chunky Cheese. Everything is steel reinforced. <laughs> <laughs> Our mascot's a slice of cheddar. <laughs> Buff Cheese. Buff Cheese. Buff Cheese. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Buff Jesus. To give me all your love is all I ever ask, because what you don't understand is... What does he not understand? That I'd catch a grenade for you. That's really dangerous. Don't do that. I'd throw my hand on a blade for you. Oh. We need, <laughs> yeah, we need like a like stabbing sound effect. Like, <laughs> <laughs> um, I'd jump in front of a train for you. <laughs> you know I'd do anything for you. Oh, wow. So he's going to give it all for her. Yeah, so basically... He loves another human so much that he would put his life on the line for that person. Living on the edge. Oh, yeah. Ooh, excuse me. And then he That's says, how Darth Vader burps. I would go through all this pain, take a bullet straight through my brain. Yes, I would die for you, baby, but you won't do the same. 
what you won't do this time. Uh, so you should probably uh leave a bitch. Yeah, but what I'm saying is just define the relationship. Yeah, like, are you watching her from her window and she doesn't even know you exist? Because yeah. that's understandable then. You can be upset because she'll never but know the love you, you provide. You just gotta sit down and say, you know? This is actually a song from uh, Kentucky or West Virginia, deep, deep, deep south. Okay, so you sit Cousins. down with your cousin <laughs> and you say, look, cuz. Dora Lynn! <laughs> <laughs> look, cuz, I love you so much. I would jump in front of a train. I would even take a grenade and hold it in my hand. And I would run away from you just so I can just... <laughs> gone. Do you feel the same way? And if a bitch says... No. No. Then you say, all right, I'm out. I'm going to find a bitch that will yeah. ride. And like then you that, take that grenade, you, know? you go outside, and you just... You, can the hold, you guys can hold the, the car. You can hold the grenade together and then just die like a fucking, suicide like, pact romeo and juliet type shit you know yeah bromeo except romeo and juliet um like poison yes one of them drank the poison and the other one just took the dagger and was like <laughs> 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 fuck i missed <laughs> oh, oh, what if you don't die <laughs> i just stabbed myself seven times and i'm still alive please just <laughs> I punctured one lung, but the other one is keeping me going. It actually doubled in size. It has succumbed the other lug. Lug. You like my lugs? So, yeah. My heart. So, so, yeah. So, then the post course of this song is. See, post course. Is. No. <laughs> no. Sex. No. No. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, 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 oh. oh. I was, so, yeah, I was doing Sesame Street. <laughs> so we're going to dive into verse two here. Oh. Where he says, black, black, black and blue, beat me till I'm numb. Okay, so you're in an abusive relationship right now. You should <laughs> right. probably get out of that. If you're, like, getting bruises, like, call Hotline. They yeah, have people for says, that. Tell the devil I said, hey, when you get back to where you're from. So she, she's a demon. Well, understand the bruising now, like. Right, like, if. You should know this going into the relationship that she has some like demonic qualities to her. Yeah, if you fall in love with like we the... cannot go out to dinner without present like she just possesses. To me, everything. it's sounding like uh, he's falling in love with the thing from Paranormal Activity. Oh, because remember she wakes up and has the handprint on her arm, like the yeah. thing just like got really Squeezes. rough and squeezed it. She's like, I got this bruise. Like, Looks like a hand, like dirty. Yeah. Call me Mr. Sniffles. <laughs> Call me Mr. Sniffles. No. And then, Thank mad you. women, bad women, or woman, not women, not all women, just this one woman. Just Sorry. one. She well, she's from hell. So. Mad woman, bad woman. That's just what you are. Yeah, you smile in my face, then rip the brakes out my car. Okay, so now she's trying to kill you. Right, like, why are you in this I'm relationship so, still? So, so he's saying that he's willing to die for her, and she says, "Okay, well then I'll help you out and I'll kill you." And then you're complaining about that. Yeah, like, like come on. okay. First off, if she's from hell, she's gonna go back there anyways. Let her die. How about that? Be smart about it. Yeah. Don't be an idiot. Don't like, oh, I'll get this grenade. That way you're okay. Fucking Judas. Yeah, just do the um, learn some Latin and find that spell that the just... pig hunt. <laughs> Just do the spell that'll send the demon back to hell. Just like some hum -a -hum -a -hum -a -hum. <laughs> <Kameha>! <laughs> and then the ground just opens up. <laughs> Dragon Ball Jesus. <laughs> so he Dose says um, mimosas, champagne and broken. Yeah, so then he does the whole thing about how he gave her all he had and she tossed in the trash and then he so wants Obviously you don't have a lot of stuff if she can fit it in yeah. one trash bag. Yeah. Like here's your fucking two pairs of pants that are sweatpants, not even regular but jeans. Bum. Then there's the bridge of the song where he says, If my body was on fire, oh, you'd watch me burn down in flames. Like a moth. So Yeah, this is stupid. Like why don't you just get out of this relationship? Like And then he says, uh, you love you said you loved me, you're a liar. Because you never, ever, ever did, baby. And we'll never, ever, 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 ever leave each other. Because <laughs> we're the three yeah. best friends that anyone could have. And those are pretty much the all the lyrics to that And then song. they're just like, oh, what's that? It didn't work the first time, so I looked like a... Mr. T. 
I pity thy fool. Yeah, so uh, <laughs> that's that gem of a tune. <laughs> God, I hate it so much. Well, I, I feel like you might have like overturned my thoughts on this now, because once you analyze it, it'll be a little bit better. I mean, granted, he's a good singer. It's just those lyrics were not yeah. up to par of what they should be. He should stick like with Like today, like, uh, I don't feel like doing anything. I just want to lay in my bed, you know? Yeah, or... um. Uptown, don't feel like getting on my phone, you know? Uptown funk you up. Oh, I'll Uptown fuck you up, bitch! <laughs> that was very aggressive. That was a Thanos glove moment. <laughs> nice. Uh, <laughs> nice. But yeah, so basically, uh, to sum that song up, dude's in love with a demon. That's what we discovered. Yeah, and uh, if you're having problems, call your nearest exorcist, you know? <laughs> uh, I've seen bad things in movies, so yeah, I'm assuming or... it's not going to go very well. They're probably going to eat you, but at least you gave it a try. Because you're in love with the demon. She's riding the yeah. load of the pole Yeah, and obviously, if that demon doesn't want to... I'm in love with the demon! If that demon doesn't want to love you back and catch a grenade for you, just find a different demon that will do that. Yeah, like, like, you could probably find at least one nice demon out there. Yeah. There's plenty of demons in the sea. But I totally understand that... The sea uh, of death. If your CDs are in his truck, you just can't leave. It's not that easy. <laughs> <laughs> like, it's way more complicated than that. Like... <laughs> I can't believe my CDs are in his truck. It's not that easy. <laughs> it's not. Like, I need to get my Maroon 5 CD bag. <laughs> nice. Shango! I can't, love... can't wait to see them at the Super Bowl. Oh. Super! <laughs> I saw a great thing the other day. This <laughs> is sad. Super duper. You said how... They said, uh... How come at concerts there's just not a random football game at halftime? <laughs> <laughs> All right, and break! I almost knocked my headphones off on that one. Head bobs. Oh, yeah. So, so uh, <laughs> what else do we have? Nothing? Is that it? I don't think we have that much more. I mean, we provide you with at least 45 minutes of actual content and about 15 to 20 minutes of oh, just, just random, random bullshit. Random stumbling. And but we do it for the, the, for the fun. It's a it's good time. <laughs> Gonna have a good time. Nice. You get a little uh, in your throat on I'm that I'm a phlebotanist. <laughs> I'm gonna become a DJ. DJ Diddles. <laughs> no. <laughs> All right. We love you, Cleveland! <laughs> All right. Um, Before I sweat more, we need to... <laughs> So, we didn't do it at the beginning of the show, so we'll do it at the end. We'd just like to remind you guys, if this is your oh, yeah. uh, first time listening to the Nerd Shed and you made it through that, uh, <laughs> what are we at, about 57 minutes of just greatness? <laughs> 100% gold. Treats for your ears. Oh, you know what I like um, to call those? Ear treats. Yeah, so, nerdshed.net is where you can find all the information that you may be looking for. Like, oh. let's see. Do these guys oh. have videos? Yeah, there's a link to our YouTube right there on the website. Do these guys have episodes that you can find on majority of any platforms that host yeah. podcasts? Yes! We are talking. It's about, inspirational! We're talking about iTunes, Spotify, Podbean, Google Play Music. Oh, um, you want to find us on Blueberry? Yeah, Blueberry. Blueberry. Um, <laughs> I love that cereal. But anyways, yeah. yeah. So all your all your viewing pleasures just everywhere. We we post a YouTube. picture on the Instagram about maybe once a quarter. Yeah, like <laughs> we don't um, get out much, but. Uh, and uh, if you would like to email us with any idea you may have, you want to hear us analyze the lyrics to one of your favorite songs? We'll do that. Yeah. If you have a funny ass video of you and your friend pooping on each other, we want to see that. <laughs> we want to analyze it. I um, mean, I don't want to see it. We will see it now by choice, but it's going to happen regardless. If you're in a GameStop and there's a very large manly woman yelling at the cashier and My you have a video Elka. of it, I want to see that. Um, just you know surprise if you have us constructive criticism of hey you guys fucking suck why don't you try this we would love to read that email if you also have construction criticism like uh, tell me about that yeah too, like so. hey your shed has this type of insulation you know yeah. if you insulated it this way it'd, it'd maybe be a little bit 100% warmer. better you guys should get some <laughs> green screens that way you guys can hang out in the desert in the forest Dude, that'd be sweet podcast in the forest bro we could podcast from the moon we can podcast in the oaks <laughs> Hey, Derek, Sprecancy <laughs> dick. Oh, Our, we can podcast from Nazi Germany and take them down the Third Reich. <laughs> we'll go in there like some inglorious bat turds. 
Um, yeah, so anyway, <laughs> that email that I was just talking about, that I address, did not see that coming. <laughs> that address that you want to send those wonderful emails to is the T H E Nerd Shed. N E R D, not N U R D. Nerd. <laughs> the Nerd Shed <laughs> nerd. Podcast. The Nerd Shed Podcast at gmail.com. Get to it. <laughs> forever, you. forever and ever oh we just passed the uh, one hour mark you know what time that is i don't even think is that soundbite still even on the board what the get involved thing uh what would that be under it just says like get involved one two three four five six yeah no here it might be on one of the other ones oh are you gonna get involved no i just want to play it because of how shitty it is <laughs> hey Hey! New power thirst! Alright, let's play... Get involved! Hey, if you want to be a part of the Nerd Shed Podcast, like our Facebook page and send us a message. Or shoot us an email, thenerdshedpodcast at gmail.com. Get to it. Nicest. Yeah, so uh, now you understand why we don't play that anymore. That was, like, <laughs> that was in the beginnings. I think we used that for like the first three episodes, and then I was like, <laughs> "We're just gonna." Yeah. So, oh, what is that? Get involved, Team Bed One. <laughs> Hold on, we're. That, uh, it's just the different music beds, if like you for be a after part it. Of the Nerd Shed podcast, okay. Like okay. A, See what you're talking yeah. about now. But yeah. Yeah, not in, and that's our just, origin story. Just, just to like, clarify, not. it's not teen as in like teenager in a bed because I don't want people to think I'm a fucking pedophile. It says T E A N, which is yeah, different spelling. Right. Which is Tion. The song that I used for the bed, those are the initials of like the title of the song. Oh, okay. Yeah. The end is near. Yeah, it's along those lines. The end is near. <laughs> oh, but, anyways. So I, maybe I should remake one of those, but like. Better. <laughs> We're gonna Sorry. do it, but gooder. Cause that one, like, I was talking like this for some reason when I hey. recorded it. Like, cause I, I don't, I didn't have a script. I just sort of winged yeah. that, winged that it, and that beat behind it's like doop, really, doop, 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 really doop, doop, obnoxiously doop, doop, doop. bad. It's a really good Crash Bandicoot beat, though. <laughs> ooga, ooga, ooga. <laughs> nice. <laughs> ooga. Okay, uh, uh, Native American dubstep next week for you. All right, but anyways, we'll uh, talk to you guys next week after we got done with that. So, uh, <laughs> my head is. <laughs> and All right, bye, guys. Bye. Scene. That's it for the Nerd Shed this week. Make sure to like and subscribe and tune back in next week for more random shit.